All right, good morning, team. Good morning. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you for being here today. Nice to see you as well. So our design sprints with the techs have given us a good core narrative to work with. Uh, I think we're, we're tracking pretty well, um, and I think we're in great shape for the implementation sprint that we've got coming up. Um, so two outputs for the sprint planning meeting today. Uh, output number one is just our sprint goal, which is a working version of the parts availability epic. And then uh, output number two is going to be a prioritized backlog. So we're going to be using Scrum, and as far as our discretionary items go, uh, sprint duration, we'll be using one week iterations. Um, I'll be the product owner uh, role, and then Shri, you'll be taking the Scrum Master, so is everybody cool with that? Yep. yep. Okay, great. Um, now here's the Trello board. I pulled what I think are the uh, right story candidates. Uh, Shri, in terms of time frame, do you have estimates yet? Yeah, I've been looking at these stories from an implementation standpoint, and okay. I've got some estimations already. Um, for the, the four child stories that we've got so far, I'm going to say they're all on the order of hours, so they'll take like roughly a day each. Okay. And then I was just reading um, about Scrum a little bit. There's this idea of story points, right? And that's is that how we do our estimates, and how, is the hours thing a story point somehow? Uh, we could have done it that way, but we're actually using a minutes, hours, days, months scale. Um, we could have been more detailed and used like a numeric story points, which is what you're talking about, but we don't want to use number values because it might be confusing for people who aren't within our team or if they're up in management. Mm. Yeah, probably a good idea. Is that, I mean, I'm not really an expert on these story points. Is that sufficient? What do we, what do we need these things for exactly? Yeah, really there's two purposes. Um, number one, to prioritize value relative to cost. And uh, Shri did the estimates last week, uh, so we're ahead of the game there. Uh, I've taken a look and I feel comfortable with them. And then the second purpose is um, to establish backlog size. Um, Shri, how do you feel about the four stories? Is that too few, too many? Um, for the stories that we've got, I'd say we can get it done in this one week sprint. Okay. Um, but we'll really have to see. Okay. Um, so if we can't get them all done, could we do a partial version, even if some components are only half-baked? I know that Marla would love to see something by the end of the week. Um, I'm going to have to say no to that, uh, just because the goal of the iterative process is to produce a potentially shippable working piece of software. Right, and right. we don't want to have to, like, we want to maintain the basic parts. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Forget I even mentioned that. Um, but what about the priority on these stories that we have? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so in terms of sequence, I, you know, ideally uh, we'd get through the entire arc of the epic in a week. Um, and I think if we did all of the search functions, um, we might be running a risk of that not happening. So um, I think that we ought to do the first story on search where the tech has the part number and then go ahead and skip to the price and availability stories. That way we make it through the whole arc of the epic, as I mentioned, and then we can circle back to the other two search uh, functions if we have time over the course of the week. Okay, that sounds good. Um, have you had a chance to uh, break down the task yet, or is that something you'd like to hold off on? Um, I actually think we should hold off on that. Um, let's just break down the tasks as we go. I mean, I do want to take a look at some of the more detailed test cases right now, okay. just so I know that I'm on the right track before I head off into coding. And that's, I mean, the test cases are how we know something's done. Is that right? Yeah, the test cases are supposed to let us know if it's working as expected. Um, but we can't necessarily define done as one thing. Well, what, what are the other things we would define it as? Um, well, it really depends on if it's readily usable. It, and even if it is usable, do we know that the user will actually want to use it? Are they motivated to use it? And we want to know, does it drive better outcomes for our company also? The other kinds of done, uh, they'll basically be tested after we have the full working software, so that's after iterations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Shree, now that you mentioned tracking if users are utilizing the functionality that we're adding, uh, is the code um, going to have the, that kind of tracking capability? Uh, yeah, there are some logs that are generated about the user input. Um, okay. I'm going to have to write some manual scripts, though, okay. to collect that data. But if we find that we're using it a lot more frequently, then I can make it a lot nicer to get that. Okay, great. Well then let's get to those test cases. Yeah? Cool.